Yo, what is happening? Welcome back to Anthony HD Gaming. Um, okay, we're back. We are back, and some things have happened with two games to go in the season. Can we win the league? We cannot win the league. Uh, Yovo are champions. And you have to say deservedly so. 102 points. I mean, how do you stop a machine like that? So we are going to be in the playoffs. Some big news um, in terms of the team, which I want to go through with you quickly. Uh, we've lost Miles Roberts to a three to six weeks injury, so he may miss the full playoffs. I'm expecting that to be the case. Maybe just back in time. Here's hoping Mitchell Weiss drops out now injury he should be back he should be back which is pretty massive um oh dear um and lastly sean jeffers 24 months he's been out for a bit a bit of time now a bit of time without sean jeffy and his goals which is a shame because he was having such a good season for us. He's a top goal scorer in the league actively at the moment. Uh, it's a sad one. It's a big loss. Uh, maybe we'll get a little bit of good news and they come back. Today we're going to do two games that are all about momentum. Uh, we're going to play fourth place Warving and fifth place Tunbridge. One game at home, one away, which I think's pretty big games, pretty good indicator of where we are at going into the playoffs. And if we can get that promotion, I would love to get it this year. Rousseau is tied down to a new contract. There is going to be players moving on, um, definitely. Um, we I think that we can get better in. And we'll do that, obviously, as the season ends. But I'm trying not to make any moves. The only thing that we have done as we've tied Russell up for another year. That's just a no-brainer to me. And we've got some good core players. He's now a star player, considered as. But let's not mess about. Let's get into these games. And then we're going to be doing the playoffs, but not in this video, obviously, in the next one, which will be with you tomorrow. We're getting out one video a day at a time at the moment. If you're new to the channel, do remember to leave me a like and a subscribe. Maybe leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you are thinking in relation to the content, how you think the seasons went for the team. We've definitely, in my books, exceeded expectations. But how do we improve it? I feel like the defence is a mess at the moment. It really is. We've lost a lot of goals. We've scored a lot of goals, which is a positive. So maybe the defence is something we look at in the summer if we don't go up. But I do want to go up. And do we stay around another year? All these sort of things we will see. We have signed a new contract, in fairness, and we should probably honour that. So let's get into the game. I will see you on match day. Okay, here we go. Uh, Warving, this is a good indicator of where we're at. Um, I would really like to secure that second place. For obvious reasons, Torquay might be a team that we should be worrying about. Ultimately, they obviously had an eight-point deduction and actually would be ahead of us on the table if it was not for that deduction. Um, I think the key thing here is to try and not get injuries. Um, Weiss looks like he's progressing nicely. He should be back in seven days. However, Zane Barton has stepped up for the team, starting to develop a little bit of partnerships in there as well, so looking good. One thing that I would say that we're, I'm not overly pleased with, Tormey has dropped off a significant amount. Stevens has started to step up as a bit of the main player. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get into this game. Um, here we go. Um, this is all about momentum. We want to carry momentum into the playoffs. Now, these, these games are, are vital in their own way. Not so much in terms of the league, but also we do want to secure that second place finish which i think is a very big thing for us um let's go let's go come on boys and this would be a good indicator if we can beat these sort of teams that are around us warving being one of them as long as we're not getting destroyed in the roads another big thing still missing some key players now as well 
Um, chance here, and it looks like it's Warvins. It's going to be Pierce to hit. <sighs> I think we really need Roberts back in the goals. Michael Johnson's. I'm not happy with. I'm not comfortable with him playing. We really need Rousseau to step up. He has got a bit of a phobia to big matches, apparently. Um, but we need we need him to cure it. We need him to cure it. Come on, lads. This is very, very poor. Very quiet. And there's what we didn't want to happen. Um, absolutely did not want that. Which means Mema is going to have to come on. Let's pray to God that is not a long-term injury because we are going to need all our men. Powell now on the stroke of half-time plays in Cashman. Stevens intercepts, gives it to Banton. Banton has been playing well. Dowling with that header on. He's been great, Dowling. Mema now. Can he be the man to replace Tom Lee? And that looks like a penalty to me. It's not given, no Wyatt. Turns it, shoots it, and that's hopeful. Hopeful at best. Wyatt is so hit and miss. He really is. He's on a, a booking again here. Um, off you come. On comes I. Now we really need to find for him and fast. I'm going to protect Borg. We're going to protect the Borg. Out of necessity. Looks tired there. Last thing we need is any more injuries. Now we're playing with a bit more of a weakened team further. Would love to see Mitchell Weiss back and Miles Roberts for these playoffs. Hopefully our physios can get them back sooner. Willard scores. And that is not good. That is really not good. 1-0 Warving. And that's a worry. Because these are the teams that we're going to be playing. But Rousseau now with a bit of magic. No, nothing. Nothing in that there. Um, and we also need to secure the second place, which we've now dropped away from Torquay moving into the second place. So what worries me about that is Torquay are obviously a very strong team um, and they'll be looking for promotion this season, which would be some achievement with a 10-point deduction. I think I said eight earlier on. But maybe we can secure that second place, give us some form of advantage. Stevens one and one. It's good play, just lacks a finish. Come on, Rasul. Ah, not great, not great. Come on, we really, really need... We've, we really have problems. Banton's played a 6.3, and this is not the time to be doing this. Got getting to the crunch stage in the corner now to Warvington. The last thing we need is to get hammered here, boys. Come on. That's so poor. Absolutely terrible. Um, absolutely terrible. The St Albans fans for the first time this season are starting to worry we've dominated the XG but no striker no heart, no passion teams played revoltingly and I'm going to tell them about it at the end of this game because that's disgraceful actually um, no, nah, we're not even close to good enough I'm going to I'm going to, I'm going in I'm going in on this one because we need to not been good enough in front of goal No control in the midfield. Defence, absolutely shocking again. So just a little kick up the ass there. Because they might have just cost a second and it could get worse than that. Actually, if we don't get a result against Tunbridge. Oh my goodness. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh dear. Um, that's a tragedy. Uh, honestly, that's a tragedy. There's, I'm not even sending him a specialist. There's no way he's back in time. The question is, can we cheat the system and try and get someone in? Because I don't think Griffiths and Mema 
have what it takes to get us over the line. What about Sakura? Okay, no news. Um, <laughs> so we need to find that bit of form from somewhere now. Um, we really need a winger in. That is a necessity. I'm a little rattled by it, I won't lie. Um, I've, I've got serious problems with no strikers, with no goalkeeper, our wingers are gone, and we're just about to hit the playoffs. We want to rest Bowery, which we're going to do. We're also going to protect some... Oh, we can't, really. We need to win this game. This is a... Um, we can't. We're going to have to play them. We're going to have to play them, unfortunately, because we need to win this for a better place on the league table before the playoffs kick off. Right. Tonbridge Angels in fifth place. Let's get the result here. And already we're straight into a highlight. Not happy. I've been absolutely FM'd at the moment here. Tragedy. Second all the way through the season. And then just this mess of injuries. Top goal scorer injured. Wingers out. Goalkeeper gone. I'm not happy. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm not happy one bit. Um, I feel like I've been a little bit mishandled here. Um, but that's what it is. Can only deal with what we have. We are slipping into fourth place at the moment without a win here. As things stand. Back up to second, Western Supermare have scored and Torquay are losing as well. I don't think that will stay the same result though. Back to third, Warving have scored. Come on lads, let's show a bit of fight. Do you want it? Down to fourth, it's really topsy-turvy. Mmm, Rosillo is going to make way. On comes Blackman. Um, Going to have to really have some words with these guys. Zane Banton again. Griffiths having a howler as well. We're actually going to bring on Mema. Come on, can anyone change it? Has anyone got courage in the dressing room? Anyone? Bowery. Greenridge picks it up, sends it forward. Sorry, I'm so locked in now, I'm not even communicating over it. Mensa comes in with interception, this is valuable. What a shot, Benjamin Jensen. Take a bow for his first goal of the season. That is massive. That is absolutely massive. What a goal that is. Wow. Wow. That's exactly what we needed. Can we secure second? Straight into another highlight. Ogadenga. Wagstaff on a swift down to Lyons Foster sends it across back to Ogdenga Ogundega <laughs> Lawrence to Diabre Greenridge is one and one this is bad and Johnston nowhere near it um, easy as that eh let's just walk through the full defence so poor so poor I'm Sick, actually, at the moment. Really sick. Has anyone got the courage to take this by the hand and secure second? Stevens with the shot. That's hopeful at best. Again, the Albans now sitting in fourth. Needs something big to happen here. Zane Banton not doing what is expected of him. He's, he's coming off. He's absolutely coming off. A 6.2, Banton. Really? A 6.2? Do 
chance here though. This is a highlight fielding on a wag staff. Not again, surely not. Yeah, Greenridge is in. Oh my goodness. It's 2 1 to Tunbridge, and the Albans are having a howler. And the season is falling apart before your eyes. It really is. It really is. Eight eighth minute Henley sends it forward. Hutchison wins it. It's just so poor. So poor. Henley sends it forward. Dowlin on a Blackman Hutchison. Come on, big fella. Let's get something. Is there a goal here? Give us hope. Give the fans hope. Mema. Armelindo Mema makes it two each in the 89th minute. How vital could that be? Is there another one in us? I'm not going to rest on my laurels. We are going for it. We are absolutely going for it now. Everything on the line. Let's see that one more time. Stevens down into the right. Finds Mema, who's playing up front. Doesn't normally play there, but he's found the goal. Let's keep going. Come on. Five minutes on the clock. Two each. Is there anything in us? There's not. There is not. And it is official. Nah. Nah. Disgusted, actually, really, really disgusted. Then um, that drops us fourth place, and we have a real fight on our hands now going into the playoffs. And what are these games so warving? Who are now going to get a rest. Jeez, oh, look at that boy. Glenn Rhea. I actually know his name. I'm going to call it now. Does he play for Coventry? Was it Coventry? No, it wasn't. It was Brighton. Okay, but I do recognise the name. Um, Their captain, Joel Cobra. We need to get by Weston Supermare first, actually. So let's not jump the gun. Oh, that hurts. Um, when is these games? So in four days' time, we play Western Supermare. And it's a one-and-done type of deal. So we'll be back for that game. Um, yeah, okay. We'll leave it here. Um, let me know what you think of what happened there. Was it what you expected? Does this constitute as failure? To me, I feel I feel really raw about it now. Um, but we have lost a lot of key men. Thank you, everyone, for watching. We will be back tomorrow with another one that you don't want to miss. 100% you don't want to miss it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Peace.